This is the process of using a Praise Charts Multitrack and Worship Song Band. First step in the Praise Chart website for the song that you want to use a multitrack for, you buy both the chord chart and the multitracks. Um, that's if you want to use the chord chart functionality of Worship Song Band, or you just buy the multitrack. Then you go ahead and once you've bought what you want to be in the track, you download the multitrack by using the download button here. Um, you'll download the multitrack. It will come into your browser window here. And in this case, um, using Google Chrome, I can go into my download area. And it's right here. Um, I can open up that file. What I see is multiple keys. Um, that's because Praise Start ships all keys for the multitracks in the zip file that you get. Um, and each of these files can be used in Worship Song Band. Um, these files are merely dragged into the Worship Song Library. And then the songs will be available in Worship Song Band. Um, if you're using iTunes instead, then you would add these files to your iTunes library. The way you would do that is that you would um, open up iTunes and open up the iPad device, go to the Apps tab, scroll down to the app file sharing tab here, click on Worship Song, and this is your library here. Then you would just click Add and go over to your download area and pick the key that you want. Um, you don't want to add the zip file with both keys. You want to open up the zip file by right clicking and saying open. And then in there you can pick whichever one of these keys that you want. And then you click open and the file is synced to your device at that point. On my PC I've launched Worship Song Band and you can see in the library screen here Cornerstone, the song I bought, now appears in the library. Um, I've dragged the B-flat in. If I click Cornerstone and I show the song, this shows me all the sections of the multitrack. If I click Chords, then I see the chords. Now if this chords is not here, that means you didn't buy the chord chart. Um, and you could go buy it and re-download if you wanted to use the chord chart. Now I can play the song. One, two, three, four. And the chord chart follows along with me as I play the song. I have control over the individual levels. Like I can hear what that guitar is doing. I can mute the pad, for instance, so I don't hear it. And I can adjust any of these levels. But then all that is saved um, so that when I relaunch the program, if um, in my set list, all that information is saved so that my mix is saved for me. Repeat, verse one. I can also do things like looping. So for instance I can say I don't want to repeat verse 1 twice. I want to go to this chorus. So I can cue that just by clicking on it or selecting it in a MIDI with a MIDI pedal. And then it'll go directly to that chorus so I can control my flow through the song. Um, other things I can do, I can go to this tab here and do a transpose in the application. So let's hear that with some more stuff going on. Notice it also transposed the chord chart for me so I see my chord chart in the new key. I 
could also individually control capo so I can capo my chord chart back down to where it was but I can transpose the song now a nice feature about the chord chart in worship song band is that it can be shared wire wirelessly between multiple devices. So that means that this chord information, if I had this PC playing this and an iPad or an Android tablet on the same network that wanted to just follow along with the chords, you could put it in master slave mode. So you can go to the settings and you could say this PC, this copy of Worship Song Band is a network master. You would set the other one to a chord display, and then the chord screen that you see here would be shared dynamically as you move through the song. So if you loop through it differently, your musicians would all see the different chords. Um, and that's a really nice feature because it basically helps your, um, it, it, it means that the chord chart can be chaired and you don't have to have the paper chart if you don't want to. Um, there's more uh, information on the Worship Song site for using all the features of Worship Song Band. Um, this is just a quick overview to show you how you would do the process and what you can do with one of these uh, multitracks in Worship Song Band. Um, just buying them directly from praise charts and dragging them into your library.